Hello there, welcome to the whole month of September and we're going to discuss the whole thing about male sterilization. Many people worry about sterilization because they have misconception about sterilization. Sterilization is not castration, therefore do not worry about the testicle being removed. First of all, the differences between male and female sterilization is quite vast. For example, men actually can undergo such procedure under local anesthesia and women have to undergo it under general anesthesia. For men, it actually is a small incisions around the actual scrotum itself. For women, it's actually multiple incision in order to get hold of the fallopian tube. And more importantly, for men, it is not, uh, it is reversible, but for women, it is not reversible. So the first week, we're going to deal with exactly what anesthesia do we use. So first of all, when somebody undergo vasectomy, 99% of the time we do it under local anesthesia. Under this circumstance, the person is completely awake and the surgeon will actually identify the vas and inject local anesthesia so that there is no sensation felt at all. Under such circumstance, there will be a small 6mm incision made and also the vas will be exteriorized and segmentally excised and both sides of the vas will be cut and subsequently the stitches will be applied on the scrotum itself. Obviously, there are two scrotum, two testicles, so therefore on the right hand side there will be a small wound, and the left hand side there will be a small wound. Some people worry about the local anesthesia might actually uh, wear off quite quickly. Don't worry, the vast majority of people, this will take between six to eight hours. Therefore, individuals who undergo vasectomy are always advised to take some painkillers such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory way before the actual local anesthetics wears off. And for the first day, the vast majority of people feels nothing at all. For the second day, the actual antibiotics is probably required, but the painkillers is only necessary in less than 10% of men who undergo vasectomy. So for men who truly, truly are quite scared of pain, there's other options of general anesthesia. However, if you consider that your wife undergo the whole childbirth for you, a small cut for the local anesthesia induced vasectomy probably is quite worthwhile and probably you need to do it without the whole problems of general anesthesia. For the following week, we're going to discuss exactly what will happen to your semen after the vasectomy. If you are interested, stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.